we tend to forget that the good old days had their bumps in the road too. We didn't have air conditioning when I was growing up, but we didn't know anything about air conditioning. To a tobacco patch in the middle of Pitt County. It was flat and it was dreary because it was winter and it was uh, chilly. It was built in 1901, so before that there was no electricity. I think I've grown up in the best of the best, best country in the best time. I, I grew up on uh, what is now uh, Four Lines Road, and my family uh, has owned part of that land since the 1700s. Mm. Uh, and then uh, my grandfather settled there after he came back from the Civil War uh, in the late 1860s and 1870s. And there's still a house on the farm on Frog Level Road that was built in the uh, 1870s. And we had uh, mules, and hogs, cows, uh, chickens. And uh, we raised our own food. We had a garden. And uh, I, uh, we had wood stoves. I remember having to carry in, one of my chores was carrying in wood for the, for the uh, to heat our, our living room and also to uh, cook with. I remember it was in the spring of 40, 42, my father was walking across the field uh, where I was plowing. And the war had uh, started over in, in England uh, and, and Europe. And uh, I, uh, I ta told Eddie, I said, since America has become involved in, in, in the war, probably next year this time I won't be here. And I think you need to, might, if you could, just possibly think of getting a tractor. And he said, I just don't have the money. And, but he gave him something to think about. And in a few days, he, he had figured out a way to, to get a small tractor, an Alice Chalmers Model B. We had a new in uh, the late uh, 30s. We were, were beginning to read about some of the things that Hitler was doing. And, and we remember when the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor and these things, and we knew that if we didn't fight, that uh, our families and the whole country would be taken over by forces that were not nearly uh, as interested in freedom as um, the government in America was. Mm. Our unit, uh, we finished our basic training, and then we prepared to go overseas, but we didn't go overseas until December. And then instead of going to the continent, as the 102nd did, we went to England, mm. and we did additional training there and went over on the continent in March of 1945. Mm. Well, I remember the night when they first heard over there about their first atomic bomb being uh, uh, dropped and the excitement uh, among all of the fellows. We thought when we got on the ship that we were going to the Far East. But they told us after we left the harbor in Marseille, France, that we would be uh, coming to New York instead because the Japanese had decided to surrender. Mm. Uh, I, I was transferred to North Carolina State and took a course in agriculture and came back to the farm after I graduated in 1949. And then one day, the agriculture teacher from uh, one of them, Mr. Mob J. H. Mobley, and the one from Aiden, Mr. S. F. Peterson, they came out and said, uh, we need someone to teach in a program called the uh, Veterans Farmer Training Program. And I taught in that program until 1957, when after that program ended, I went back and farmed full time. And then uh, in the 60s, the same two men, Mr. Mobley and Mr. Peterson, came out one day and they just asked me if I was interested in teaching a new program that they had started in, the Vocational Agricultural Program. And so I started in that and worked uh, for uh, 15 years until 1981. I had bypass surgery and uh, I retired. The Lord didn't make a mistake when he created us. He gave us everything we need. Mm. And, uh, we, we all have different different problems, different hardships, and but yet we've got to have a positive approach and say, I, if anybody can do it, I can do it. And we've got to realize too that, that uh, life is not all roses.